weekend would have been the start of the 44th annual Park Avenue Festival. Thousands of people would come to enjoy the food and the music and more than 400 vendors lining the streets. Today, the area looks much different, needless to say, but people are still celebrating in their own way. The Park Avenue Festival was officially canceled back in April because of the pandemic, but we talked to one store owner and a few party goers keeping the tradition alive. Atia Collins joins us live from Park Avenue now. Uh, Atia, what does it look like there today? Well, like you said, Jack, it looks a little different. It's a little quieter, but there are still crowds here. They're eating at some of the restaurants. They're popping into some of the shops. And there are some parties going on. Some are small, and it looks like people are wearing masks, but others are very large and packed with people. Many businesses along Park Ave depend on the festival to bring in customers and money, but with the festival canceled due to COVID-19, owner of the Statement Boutique is still filling their sidewalks with clothes and pop-up shops with the hope of bringing in customers. The past years have been super busy, super crazy, great sales, like killer weekends. Um, this weekend has been pretty slow. I mean, we have the pop-up going on, but for the most part, it's, it hasn't been like it has been in the past. This is video from last year's fest. This would have been the 44th year for the festival, which draws thousands of people to the area. But this weekend, the streets around Park Ave look a little different to people who go to the festival every year, like Lindsay McCarthy. What I miss most, honestly, is all the vendors and the, you know, the food that's out here and just spending time with family and friends and walking the streets and kind of just enjoying the summer, the summer weather. But even without the festival, parties were still going on and people could be seen packing sidewalks and porches. One party goer says while safety and health is on the top of their mind, they still wanted to use the weekend to get together with friends. We're trying to, you know, celebrate as much as we can, but obviously staying as safe as we can. We want to make sure that, you know, everyone's following guidelines, but, you know, we're still kind of enjoying our summer. It's canceled in like the, uh, I guess, the main sense of it, but the people hanging out and having a good time is not canceled. Um, like the, the streets are obviously open. Like last year, you know, it's nice to be able to walk down the streets, but... Um, I think we're still enjoying ourselves. Now, there are some people out here that are wearing masks. We have some of those crowds, but those larger parties were worrying to store, store owners who are concerned about social distancing. I did see some police rolling up and down this street, possibly patrolling the area, making sure everyone is staying safe. Reporting from Park Ave, Atia Collins, News 8. All right, Atia, thank you. The